Hey guys, Chris Sarda at Cast and Comics on Instagram and Twitter, and today I'm going to talk about porcelain number one and number two. I just didn't bring number two with me, and I'm not going to pause it. So um, they were both very good. So there you go. Um, so this is a, the new book from Ablaze um, by Maria Lovett, and so the first one was Arrow Psyche. And uh, the first thing I'll say is that I see an immediate jump in in like her stylistic qualities from Eros Psyche to Porcelain. And where I enjoyed Eros Psyche a lot, that was also from her Blaze. Um, uh, you know, it was very sparse, and I often described it as like her minor league work or her early work. Um, and I and I tried to take it in that way. Uh, where this feels a lot like what I've already read, um, her newer stuff that's come out over the last couple of years. And, um, and I think that's a really good thing, actually. So it means that she really found out what she wanted to do, the weird design, um, magical realism sort of thing that, uh, that she's done since, um, you know, with a hint of you know, with a hint of like druggy art and, and sexuality in it. So, um, I got that amazingly. I got that immediately here and, uh, you know, and her art style is very simple. Um, but for some reason just, just grabs me creatively. Um, and colors always work. So big contrast from the first few pages of her walking around a desert that apparently used to be a forest to then going into this, this dollhouse of a uh, dark blues and, and dark reds. Um, so still not sure what happens with the, with the dollhouse, but I don't really believe I'm gonna get this like intricate plot explanation, like Hickman style explanation here. Um, there's a lot more, a lot more of this is emotional and um, you know, with the, like a horror tinge a little bit. Um, I mean, when you're reading Maria Lovett, what you're coming in for is really like these little like sort of design pieces. Um, that you almost want to tear out and pin to your wall. Uh, that happened a lot in Luna. And, uh, you know, the story feels pretty simple. Unfortunately, it is a reprint of the um, of a European book. So you, uh, you get the really, really obnoxious, huge, you know, that the artist shrunk and you get the, you know, the huge, I guess this is the gutter. What is this? You know, uh, waste, waste of paper, I guess. So, you know, it's unfortunate that Americans are so afraid to get books in, in a different size than their traditional comic book. Um, it's one of the things that annoys, annoys me that we tried to fit it into this just so it's like standard size, you know. Um, but I'm, I can also accept that that's just the way the market is and I have to find a way to enjoy the book otherwise. So if I'm ever in Europe again, which uh, I probably will be in during Christmas, um, I might start looking out for some of these, um, European, uh, artists that I really enjoy and see if I can find that, you know, in the more album style, I'll, I'll probably end up getting it in, you know, the language, you know, that of the country I'm in. But, um, but yeah, if I see something from Maria Lovett, I'll have my eye out for it and I will definitely be picking it up and it'll be a nice little square bound, uh, portrait, but yeah, uh, very enjoyable, um, all the way through, I, I would say that even though like figures and stuff are very simply drawn, it's something that I, I sit and, and look at the pictures as much as possible for. And, um, and I was going to skip this actually, and I didn't, and I'm happy that I didn't. Porcelain number one and two, and uh, a, a Blaze is one, still one of those companies that does a whole bunch of... Um, Variant covers, and for Arrow Psyche, I you know I saw like the Pulp Fiction one and whatnot, and so I grabbed it, and I have almost all of them, but I just re I regret doing it, like it's just a waste of money. But then I see this Harley one, right? Uh, that's not gonna that's not gonna focus. Anyway, you see that Harley one, and then the second Porcelain number two has a homage to Harley number one. So, but I I held back. I didn't do it. I don't care. I'm just gonna probably throw these away anyway. So, um, anyway, let me know what you guys thought of porcelain. Maria Lovett in general, there's a book called, now I think it's called La Oh, it's called loud that that one, no one talks about because it was uh, OGN, right? But people are talking about Luna cause it was on boom. Um, they're talking about faithless a little bit because it was on, uh, you know, cause she's doing it with Brian Azzarello. So that's one of the books she's not writing. And then there's a, 
I can't remember the book that I read of hers uh, before Luna now, but that was also good that she wrote that. So anyway, let me know what you think about Maria Lovett. I would understand if some people thought, think it's a little bit, um, you know, the art style is a little bit too simplistic, but I think she's creative enough uh, and, um, you know, the, the tone of the stories interests me enough that it just always grabs me and I enjoy it or find something in it to enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.